Production assistance for Calliope is provided in part by Lafayette Society for Performing Arts, 5D Designs, and by Louise and Warren Aldrich, partners with Calliope in healthy character development. Thank you. Step right up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to the greatest, well, second greatest, show on earth. Boys and girls, it's my favorite time of the day. It's morning time. Morning time. Sun is rising. Morning time. Good morning, Lucy. Morning time. Morning time. Birds are singing. Morning time. Good morning, early bird. Bok, bok. Morning time, morning time, count your blessings, morning time. Good morning, Giuseppe. Morning time, morning time, bells are ringing, morning time. Good morning, Penelope. Morning time, morning time. How I love the morning time. Hi boys and girls, my name is Calliope. My papa is the ringmaster with the traveling circus. I want to join that circus and one day I will. But for now I'm here in the circus's winter home in Calico Valley and I'm practicing my skills as a clown. One day, when I get them just right, my papa will send for me, and he'll let me run the carnival sideshow with the circus. And with me here are some of my best friends. Some of them want to be in the sideshow, too. Aren't you just the cutest little pumpkin? I'm so glad I found you. And I'm very glad you found me too. All the way back from the pumpkin patch, you were thanking me for choosing you. Why did you do that? Well, the other pumpkins were always making fun of me. Well, why would they do that? Because I'm different from them. I'm covered with these spots. Oh, pumpkins. Those are not spots. They aren't? 
No, they're hearts. And as you can see, I love hearts. Then you didn't pick me because you thought nobody else would? No, I picked you because I love what makes you different. Wow, nobody's ever said that before. Boys and girls, it's no joke. Calliope will be right back after these messages. <laughs> Boys and girls, it's me, Calliope. I wanted to ask you, which one of my friends here at the caravan is your favorite? Would you like to have a picture of that friend? If you would, tell your parents to send me an email at calliope.clown at yahoo.com and let me know which one you like the best. Ask your parent to put in your mailing address and I'll send you a picture of your favorite. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to hear from you. Good morning, Calliope. Who's that with you? Oh, Penelope, this is Pumpkins. I went to the pumpkin patch this morning, and I just had to bring him back home with me. Pumpkins, this is my best friend, Penelope. Hello, Penelope. Hi, Pumpkins. Welcome to the caravan. I'm so glad you're here. Really? Really? It's always fun when someone new comes to the caravan, isn't it, Calliope? It sure is, Penelope, and I'm hoping that Pumpkins will want to stay with us for a while. Oh, I sure do. But, Penelope... Yes? Don't you find me a little different from any of the other pumpkins you might have met? Different? How? He means the hearts that are around his face. Pumpkins told me that the other pumpkins picked on him because of the hearts. To tell you the truth, I didn't notice. But you know, I, I like them. They're cute. And one thing you'll find out, Pumpkins, is that everybody's different in some way. Take Penelope, for example. She's different than other dogs because she can read. And I'm one of the best readers in Calico Valley, too. Wow. Let's go around and meet some of my other friends at the caravan, Pumpykins. And Penelope, you and Pumpykins will just have to play later. That would be great, Calliope. See you later, Pumpykins. Ah, good morning, Calliope. I see you back from the pumpkin patch. And you got a new friend, too. Yes, Giuseppe. This is Pumpykins. Pumpykins, this is Giuseppe. He cooks for us all here at the caravan. Hello, Giuseppe. Buongiorno, Pumpykins. I'm a pleased to meet you. Welcome to the caravan. Are you a staying for breakfast? Yes, he is, Giuseppe. And Pumpykins will be staying with us for a while, I think. Oh, yes. I hope so, too. Wonderful. I'm gonna make you a good breakfast. Calliope, your new friend sure is a nice... I think so, too. Calliope, how is Giuseppe different? You said everybody is different in some way. Well, Giuseppe used to be a dancing bear with my papa's circus. And now he's a four-star chef. There aren't many bears that can say that. Oh, well, Calliope, you say the nicest of things. I'm going to go fix you breakfast now. See you later, Giuseppe. And Pumpykins will go around and meet all the other new friends at the caravan right after these messages. We'll be right back. Hi, boys and girls. I'd love to hear from you. Please write to me at Calliope, P.O. Box 1995, LaGrange, Georgia, 30241. And now, back to the caravan. Oh, hi. Welcome back, boys and girls. And you say you found pumpkins in the pumpkin patch where the other pumpkins were picking on him. That's right, Mr. McCall. Why in the world were they doing that, lad? Because I'm different. Different? What do you mean different? You're a pumpkin, aren't you? Well, yes, but... Then that's all that matters, lad. You know what I've learned through my life? Being different can make you very special. And you've already become very special to me, Pumpykin. 
Oh. Now back to business. You say you'll have an outgoing letter for me to pick up in a little while, lass? Yes, Mr. McCall. I'm going to write a letter to my papa. Could you come back after you make your rounds? Of course I can, lassie. I'll see you then. Nice to meet you, Pumpykins. Nice to meet you too, Mr. McCall. Calliope, all of your friends are wonderful. Well, I've got a couple more I want you to meet. Let's go say hello to Early Bird. Good morning, Calliope. Good morning, Early Bird. I'd like for you to meet my friend Pumpykins. Hi, Pumpykins. Hello, Early Bird. I can already see how Early Bird is different, Calliope. You can? How is he different? Well, I've seen a lot of birds fly over the pumpkin patch, but I haven't seen one with glasses on before. <laughs> I like the way you're different too, Pumpykins. Those hearts on you just look great. Thank you. You aren't just saying that, are you? No, I believe Early Bird means just what he says, Pumpykins. I certainly do. Calliope, has Pumpykins met Haymon yet? We were just going that way, Early Bird. Well, I am just going to fly off and see if I can find some fat, juicy worms for breakfast. Bye, Calliope. Bye, Pumpykins. Did he say fat, juicy worms for breakfast? He sure did. Yuck. Yuck! And this is my friend Haymon who lives in the wishing well. Haymon, this is my friend Poppykins. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mon. It's nice to meet you too, Haymon. That's a very nice accent you have. Accent? Who's got an accent, Mon? <laughs> <laughs> Well, Pumpykins is going to be staying with us for a while, hey, Mon? The other pumpkins in the pumpkin patch were making fun of him because he's different. Different, Mon? You mean those great-looking hearts? Mon, those other pumpkins were just jealous because they don't have any. You really think so? Mon, I'm sure of it. But I bet they all want hearts just like you have. And that's why they were mean to you, Mon. I think Haymon is right, Pumpykins. I never thought about it that way. Anyway, Mon, welcome to Calico Valley and to the caravan. Thank you, Haymon. So, Pumpykins, how do you like it here at the caravan? I love it. Everybody's, well, everybody's so nice. And they're all so, so different. When I was a little girl, my papa used to sing to me. You see, I was different too. I was different from all the other clowns. How? I could never get my act together, and I always seemed to stumble and fumble a lot. But aren't clowns supposed to stumble and fumble? Yes, but not like I did. Is that why your papa sang to you? Yes, he sang to me to make me feel better. Would, would you sing that song to me, Calliope? Oh, yes I would, Pumpykins. I would be happy to. It's okay to be different. Try not to feel blue. If you really think about it, everyone's different too. Different being different. Try not to feel blue If you really think about it Everyone's different too That always helped me, Pumpykins. I hope it helped you too. It does. And we'll be back, boys and girls, right after these messages. Oh, welcome back, boys and girls. Good morning, Happy Monkey. Good morning, Calliope. And good morning to your new friend. Happy Monkey, this is my friend Puppykins. Puppykins, this is Happy Monkey. He owns the Happy Joy Grocery Store. Hi, Happy Monkey. A pleasure to meet you. Say, Calliope, do you mind giving these groceries to Giuseppe? 
Not at all, Happy Monkey. I'm sure he's waiting for them. And of course, you know I have to bring you a new joke. I wouldn't have it any other way. And this joke is especially for you, Pumpkins. What's black, white, orange, and wattles? I don't know. What is black, white, orange, and wattles? A penguin carrying a pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have one for you. What's all the colors of the rainbow and orange? Gee, I don't know. Calliope carrying me. <laughs> <laughs> Those were both good jokes. Thank you, Happy Monkey, and I'll get these to Giuseppe. Thank you, Calliope. Nice to meet you, Pumpkins, and both of you. Have a happy day filled with joy. Pumpkins, would you mind doing me a small favor? What's that? Would you take this bag of groceries into the kitchen to Giuseppe? I'd like to write a letter to my papa before Mr. McCall comes back. I'd be happy to. Dearest Papa, I made a new friend today. His name is Pumpykins. I picked him out of a pumpkin patch and brought him home to live at the caravan with me. I liked him the best because he was different. He has heart-shaped designs all over him, and well, you know how much I love hearts. I just wanted to write to you and Mama to let you know how thankful I am for all the times I would feel sad because I was different from the other clowns, and you would always make me feel better. Papa, do you remember the song you always sang to me? I'm so glad you sang me that song because today I sang it to Pumpykins, and that made him feel better. Now he knows it's okay to be different. Sometimes what makes us different is what makes us extra special. And you and Mama always loved me no matter what I did or how different I was. I'm going to close for now and take Pumpykins and show him around Calico Valley. I can't wait for you to come home in the fall and meet Pumpykins and see everyone else, especially me. I miss you and love you both very much. Love from your stumbling, bumbling, fumbling clown, Calliope. Hello, Calliope. Woo-hoo-hoo, it's good to see you. Good morning, sweetie. What's this? I heard about the new friend here at the caravan and wanted to bring him a nice welcoming treat. Oh, this is so very nice. Your pies are always so special and so delicious. I'll make sure Pumpykins gets this. Thank you so much. I do my best. <laughs> now I have to make some more deliveries. See you soon, Calliope. I'm sure Pumpykins is going to love getting this pie, and he'll be happy to know that Sweetie is different too, and he takes what makes him different and makes other people feel special. Wow! Wonder what that's all about. What's going on? Oh, Calliope, it's so wonderful. All of my new friends have brought gifts for me. Look, Haymon gave me a hat like his. And Penelope gave me a toy pumpkin with hearts on it, like I have. An early bird even brought me a big worm. I thought you might like one. That's so sweet of you. And my gift to you is this. Anything you want for dinner. What's your favorite meal? I don't know. Nobody's ever asked me that before. I know. How about some fraud spit with frim fram sauce and Austin Fay on the side? Hey, that's my favorite too! <laughs> I haven't had a chance to get a present for you, Pumpykins, but. Oh, Calliope, you've given me the best gift already. You brought me here, where I am loved and accepted just as I am, differences and all. For the first time in my life, I feel that I belong somewhere. And you're most welcome here, Pumpykins. <laughs> Boys and girls, when Bok Bok cackles like that, it's time for Calliope's Thought of the Day. Thank you, Bok Bok. And the Thought of the Day is, 
It's okay to be different. It's breakfast time, but first we must feed our friends because they depend on us. Fresh milk is here. Good morning, Daisy. Well, Daisy, that's our new friend, Pumpkins, and he's just been given some gifts by his new friends. I'll be sure to tell him that you're glad he's here, too. Say, Daisy, are any of the cows at the dairy different from the rest? <laughs> They're only different when they're outside of the barn. <laughs> Daisy, you're so silly. Thank you for my milk, and have a great day. Here you go, Calliope. You breakfast just the way you like it. Thank you, Giuseppe. You knew a friend of Pumpykin's. He got a good a sense of humor. He's going to be a nice a new addition to the caravan. And I think he finally knows that being different is OK. It's time to set the table, boys and girls. I like to sing the place setting song when I do this. Won't you sing along with us? Penelope is going to help us. Fork on the left. Fork on the left. Spoon on the right. Spoon on the right. Plate in the middle. Plate in the middle. Cup right here. Cup right here. Napkin in the lap. Napkin in the lap. When you set the table right, it makes meal time a delight. I'm so glad you came to visit me today, boys and girls. And next time you're passing through Calico Valley, stop in again and see me. And don't forget the lesson that we shared. It's okay to be different. And remember, always do your best and never, never, ever give up. And I love you. Bye-bye.